Hey folks, if you want to know the key to a sharp knife, it's Dixie's finest long knife sharp. Right there. Hey, my name is Alan Bentley. I'm out of Monica City, Florida. Uh, I have five of these sharpeners. I use them consistently, always. I'm a hog hunter and a deer hunter. Plus, I raise wild hogs on my property. Take them all the time. This is the best knife, that best sharpener to have with you at all times. It works. I must own 15 knife sharpeners. But this is the only one that I can win. I can put it in my tackle box everywhere I go and put it in my pocket, and I can sharpen any kind of knife. I love it. There's nothing like it. This probably is the finest knife sharpener I have encountered in my 30 years doing gun shows. Therefore, I wholly recommend it because I use it myself and it's the finest one that I have found. This works absolutely great. I use it with all my knife shows to sharpen all the knives. It works great. It's the best sharpener out there. It is the best sharpener ever. It really works. We recommend Lux Knife Sharpener. Every time we sell a knife, we always throw one of these in the car in your purchase. And it's easy to use and it works. I don't care if you have a hundred dollar knife or a thousand dollar knife. This is the one to use. These are awesome. Dixie's Finest is the best! Dixie's Finest is the best! block sharpener and this is what it will do for you. Take any serrated edge knife, roll it in the middle, it makes the pins vibrate, shatters it up into the teeth, take the serrated knives, raise the sharp. Got a smooth blade, put it on the edge of a counter, make it spring tight, roll it back. As you get sharp, you go lighter and lighter. What it does, it relines the blade, taking you back into your original edge. Buy good knives, you want to keep it all original. You don't want to tear the steel out. You don't want to change the angle. These are 100% American made. They are lifetime guaranteed. And they're made right here in America. See that? It's been used for many years. Wore out. Put them on the edge of the counter. Make it spring tight. Pull them through. What these do is they reline the blade. They pick up on the original angle. They squeeze that blade up, taking you back to your original cutting edge. Quick and easy. Strap them when you're done if you like. That'll take you a little bit sharper again. Hundred percent American made. No pressure, no force. This way it's made vibrate so it holds them out. I'll take them nice and straight and sharp for you. Big flat blade, a bunch of the counter. Push in, not rusting on anything then. Pull them out. That way it's made sharp on both sides. You won't get no mix and burrs or no even sharpening. I'll take your match and make it straight and sharp. Blade knife, a little bit of oil, but I take it right in the right place. Now your front blade, you have two bumpers on them. Slot them against your table or your counter. Push in that rest and I need a pen. Roll them out. That way it's sharpening both sides. You won't get no mix and burrs or an uneven sharpening. It'll only take you a few minutes to get them razor sharp. Get them right from the bottom of the tooth right to the top of the tooth. Watch this. That's the serrated part. Now on the smooth part of the blade, this is a one-sided blade. You're flat here, your blade's on this side. These are the only ones you do this to. You hold the flat side up against the pin, the other pin will pick up the angle of the blade. Being a round flexible pin, they can grab any angle you got. These ain't made to tear the steel off or change your angle. They're made to reline them blades and get you back to your original edge. In most cases, just a little bit sharper than original. Strap this up a little more. Put it 
on the edge of the counter, spring it in there tight, snap her through. These ain't made to tear steel or change the angle. They reline the blade, taking it back to its original cutting edge. As you get sharp, lighten up on them. For the serrade, go in the middle. Hundred percent American made. Make these squeeze in there nice and tight. Snap them through. A longer blade is easier, of course. Once you get the feel of this little tool, though, you can sharpen about anything with a blade. I do little blades. I do swords. Oh yeah. They'll do anything in the butcher block. Watch this. Watch this. Quick and easy. Anything with teeth, just put it in the middle. That makes some pins vibrate and chatter. Feeling teeth now. Sharper. Oh yeah. Smooth part of the blade, put it on the edge of the counter, make it spring tight. Now this is a one-sided blade. The flat side you hold against the pin, the cutting edge you let the other pin pick up on. Hold the flat side to the edge, pull it through. You want to keep the flat side flat, you don't want to round it out. These are American-made knife sharpeners. We offer lifetime guarantees. I found I can do anything with a blade. As long as that knife's got a little bite, it will do it. Christian's knife. That's a good hard steel in these too. Different colors just for yellow? Uh, I don't know. I don't even know. I know it ain't You squeeze it, pull these through. These reline the blade. They take very little to no steel out of the knife. All I have are work knives, you know, and I try to open boxes and stuff like that. See that? Hook bells, them are hard as heck to do on a stone. These are American made knife sharpeners. They ain't from Dinga Donga. That's why they work right. How much is something like that? I'm doing them right now. 12. Gerber. Squeeze the front end, pinch it tight, pull it through. You don't have to turn it? No, nope, the don't tear steel or change your angles. Pull it right through the middle. When they flex, they push the blade up, taking very little to no steel out of the knife. It's important you get good knives, you want to keep the metal on the blade. The serrated part, you roll in the metal, and make some pin vibrate, shattering it deep into the teeth, right from the tip to the valley, it will get them sharp. These ain't made to tear the steel or change that angle. They reline the blade, get it back to its original cutting edge. You're taking off very little to no steel. Get in here. They are 15. Uh huh. I've been carrying for a while. Put these on the edge of the counter, bring it tight, pull it through. They don't tear steel or change your angles. They reline the blade, taking it back to its original cutting edge. You're not kidding. A little drop of any kind of cooking oil will work, and then just do them lightly. It's re-honing the blade, following the original angle, taking it sharp as can be.
knives. If you want to know the key to a sharp knife, it's Dixie's finest long knife sharp. Right there. Hey, my name is Alan Bittman. I'm out of Monica City, Florida. Uh, I have five of these sharpeners. I use them consistently, always. I'm a hog hunter and a deer hunter. Plus, I raise wild hogs on my property. Taking them all the time. This is the best knife, that best sharpener to have with you at all times. It works. I must own 15 knife sharpeners now. But this is the only one that I can depend on. I can put it in my tackle box everywhere I go and put it in my pocket. And I can sharpen any kind of knife. I love it. It's nothing like it. This probably is the finest life sharpener I have encountered in my 30 years doing gun shows. Therefore, I wholly recommend it because I use it myself and it's the finest one that I have found. This works absolutely great. I use it in all my knife shows to sharpen all the knives. It works great. Best sharpener out there. It is the best sharpener ever. It really works. We recommend Lux Knife Sharpener. Every time we sell a knife, we always throw one of these in the car in your purchase. And it's easy to use and it works. I don't care if you have a $100 knife or a $1,000 knife. This is the one to use. These are awesome.